Do you imagine? Welcome back to J Rue Productions. Finally, I'm getting a chance to review and unbox what Monoprice claims to be the best 3D printer under $500. So I actually paid $299.99 for this back in July 21st of this year after a $100 off coupon. That's right, it was $100 off. And it looks like now they're selling for $349.99. The other comparable models I compared it to is the Creality CR10. Back one year ago when it came out, it was like around the $350 range. Looks like it went up like $100. So that's why I decided to go with a US model. By the way, Monoprice is a US based company that's headquartered in Bria, California. They offer over 7,000 high quality and affordable electronics accessories. Without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox it. And I believe the assembly is very easy to pre-assemble components. All you have to do is assemble those these two and then it will be ready to print in like 10 or 15 minutes. Alright, so let's get this out of the box. Make sure I don't damage your components. It's not super heavy or anything like that. I just want to make sure I don't damage it. Like there's still the rest of the stuff inside the box and it looks like <laughs> this is the unit itself you have some of these um is this the spool oh, yeah i believe that's the spool this is the poa 1.75 millimeter spool in black color i was actually expecting like a full size spool and you have the maker select plus 3d printer instruction manual i believe booklet right there and I believe this is uh, probably like for the print head or maybe a sticker that goes on the unit so let's go ahead and remove this plastic packaging and unveil the inside components I'm super excited because all the craze is about 3D printing you make design and make your own at home. One thing is for sure they properly wrap this up. See all the thick styrofoam. Make sure it keeps everything protected. Oh wow. I see high quality components in there. This is amazing. They've already wowed me with the packaging. Let's see what's the best way to remove all these components. I see a box of goodies right here. I believe these are all the cables and all the extra accessories, which I'll go in depth later. I'm gonna remove this unit, this is a side unit. I'm gonna remove the main component right here. Set this aside. Actually, I'm gonna set it flat so it doesn't fall and I believe this is the uh, print face we use several two units we use these really good Everything you see right here is straight out of the box, minus the infamous boxer dog on the upper left. Thanks for joining the review, Akira. All right, so according to the manual, the package contents should include the monoprice 3D printer, extruder tower, and also the print bed, um, the spool holder assembly, and the spool stand, which comes in this assembly. The AC power cord, make sure you choose yours accordingly. I chose a US one, three prong. It also comes with a USB cable right there, real nice cable, and a four gigabyte SD card 
with sample 3D model files that you can print right away. A scraper, scrape off the printed item. A PTF e-tube, I believe that's that right there. A hex key set, I think that's the hex key set. Six hex bolts, also in here. Uh, two cable ties, one sample row of PLA, and two print bed mats. I believe that's part of this. And also one that's already uh, incorporated right here. One user's manual, which is what I'm reading right now. And a quick install guide. And also a thank you card. Thank you card, and I think that's the quick install guide. So it looks like the instruction manual left out the part about connecting the key. I think the menu has a typo. I think it meant system and then home. Oh. So let's go over and go to this home position. And now it says to turn off the printer again. Now that the printer is off, it wants me to calibrate the right depth from the nozzle to the print bed with using a sheet of paper. So what we're going to do is check the four corners and adjust the springs here until it can barely, paper can barely slide. So you can see there's too much movement right here. I need to loosen the springs so it can go up on the platform to the nozzle. I'm gonna do that for 
all four corners. Most of the print is going to be in the middle, but we still need to calibrate this. So what you don't want is when you move the print head and it drags the paper like this. You need to loosen that a little bit. So if you have a carpenter's level, place it on the print table to make sure it's leveled. I think I have it adjusted just right. It's not dragging the paper. And it's as close to the nozzle as possible. All right, now I'm gonna turn the printer on. Press the tools button when it comes up. Move button. And press the plus button for the z-axis entry several times to raise the extruder until it's at least an inch above the build platform. So press the z-axis. About an inch. Press the back button to return the tools menu. Press the preheat button. Then press the PLA. Yes, I believe the material is PLA. Press the AB button if you are using ABS, but I believe this is filament is PLA, as it indicates right here. How much? 75 millimeters. So it shows the current uh, target, current and target temperature. See it it's heating up the bed right now. So we want to press the PLA. It wants to reach a target temperature of 185 degrees Celsius. So right now we want to put the filament in the spool holder. So they want us to cut diagonally. Now we want to go to the extruder. Now I'm going to insert the SD card. I believe there are already some pre-drawn models in there ready for print. I'm going to insert it into the side of the unit, which is right here. So you want to insert this way, upside down, circuit on the top. Alright, we want to press the back button to the main menu, press the print button. So make sure that's inserted tight, otherwise it won't read. I think I'm gonna start out with let's use um G code two, how about that? And continue. Looks like it's calibrating right now. Go guys, I'm so excited. It's 
time I adjust it so it's lower. Um, it looks like this time it's pretty much touching the bed or slight one millimeter off. But is it really printing anything? I don't see any material being injected. It's just going along the path of the previous print which indented into the print bed.